Hey there, thank you for joining me. A quick recap of our previous episode. We were first of all able to get another villager. We have now two hunters, a lumberjacker and an herbalist. It's the perfect season for the herbalist, by the way, because it's fall. So I can actually show you this. There's shrooms all around. And I don't want to be bothered with picking them. So we have an herbalist that is going to do that for us. Also, in the previous episode, I mentioned that I very likely was going to get rid of the well. Because um, even though it's nice to get buckets of water, we don't have any buckets. Because we don't have a workshop that is making the buckets. We also lay down the blueprint for our farm. There it is. So there is a barn. And this is a little bit of farm field. I put that down first to make sure that the barn would be situated perpendicular. Because if you start with the barn, then you realize when you put the farm field down, that the farm field has a grid of its own and a mind of its own, which is very annoying. So I kind of avoid that. Of course, we can't have that. Either way, what I did is I cooked some food for them. And that was quite a bit. I also made sure that they have enough knives and axes for them to do their job. While I was cooking the food, I realized how much work that is actually going to be. Because we have four villagers. If we ever plan to get six or more, well, in the coming days, because we will eventually have a lot more, then, yeah, I, I very likely will have to assign a higher priority to getting a kitchen. Because the cooking takes quite a bit of time. Because they eat a lot of these burgers. So, on that note, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to, first of all, demolish the well. Because we have to, because we have no room for another building. We're not allowed to. So we're going to free that one spot up. And I'm going to put down a workshop. All right, putting the finishing touches on our workshop. That is all ready. Okay, let's quickly look which one of our guys is the best assigned to the workshop. Well, let me chuck on thing first though, because I didn't unlock too many recipes yet. Or in other words, none. We don't have the money. So right now assigning anybody is kind of a waste of time because they can't make anything. All right, so that is what we're gonna focus on uh, very likely in the next morning. I'm gonna check on the crops right now. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a whole bunch of cabbages again. You gotta love it. There we go. And yes, I didn't mention it at the beginning, but one of the biggest benefits and bonuses that we got in the previous episode is the fact that we were able to purchase a backpack and a pouch and that allows us to carry, instead of 35, 65. And that makes a big difference, especially when getting all these cabbages. Because they are very heavy. Great thing is, we also have carrots. So we're actually starting to eat a varied diet. But no worries, the main focus will always be cabbage. Wheat grain or rye grain? Let's go for a wheat grain. I'm actually gonna stockpile a little bit of and clear the area around the plant barn. We're gonna make that area clean. Well, I figured I would simply build a barn since I was surrounded by all these logs and resources laying here. It goes really fast. Now that I have the backpack and the pouch, it helps me carry so much more. So that structure is almost done. Here we go. There's no point in assigning a farmer right now because we already did all the plowing and uh, the harvesting and the sowing again. So I cleared this area up. Uh, the barn has been finished. If I hold inspector mode, you can see that I... I tend to pick up everything that I can in an area where I'm going to build a structure or, in this case, build a farm field. Get rid of that one, because now we know what the grid looks like. Uh, let me see, I want to make sure... Yeah, like this. And I don't make one huge field, I kind of 
divvy it up in several fields so you can give the villagers more specific commands and orders. So, let's get a hoe out. And right now, we're going to go head into town. We have arrived in town on this beautiful rainy day. Hello there. No, we were not really flirting with her because I think she's too old, right? Oh, what is it? Uh, can I ask you something? Well, let's say that today is pretty tiresome for me, but fruitful nevertheless. She liked that, okay. Let's see if we can keep going. I love the local cuisine here, okay. Working often get under your skin. What do you do in your spare time? Let's do that one. She like that one. Sometimes there's some really creepy ones in there that uh, you can tell them. This one, about the dream. It's hilarious. Last night I had this weird dream I was building a house, but someone else was in control of my body, looking through my eyes. And then I heard this strange voice coming from afar saying, Damn, he's hungry again. Very unusual, right? So unless we're dealing with Wednesday Adams, I would not advise to use that sentence because I think it will creep anybody out. Do you have any brothers or sisters? It's not something that I would normally ask. Well, where do you come from? Tell me something about your birthplace. She like that one? Great. We'll keep going. I'm always eager to learn new things. Do you have any advice for me? I don't like that one. This is kind of humble. We'll try this one. She like that one? She like the chicken talk? At some point, yeah, at some point she had enough from the talk. Okay, okay. Good talk. Long time no see. Oh, he has a story. My hoe is broken. Okay. Do not laugh, it's important to me. Fine, then how can I help you? Well, make a wild guess. So he ordered a new one. He doesn't craft a new one, he just orders a new one. He's my father's old friend. I was told by Papa that Fallibor eventually gave up blacksmithing when he got older due to his back pain issues. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, we're gonna get the hoe. He's giving us the money to purchase or pay for the repairs. Brilliant. Where's Edwin? Edwin? I, I think that guy uh, lives and sleeps in his barn here. Hello. Yes, give me some fertilizer. Okay. Well. Let's go wild. Let's buy 30. And I probably want to pick up some Goodbye. water for my villagers. Because they can't be arsed to go to the river and drink some water themselves. No, they Hello. want a bucket. Whatever you need, I've got it. A bucket of water. Oh, there we go. I see I have a skill point. Yeah, we want to get up there. To that running one, because we don't... Uh, later on in the game, you can, you can purchase a mount, like a horse. Well, I don't care about alcohol resistance and movement in water. <laughs> I'm not sure. How much time I spend in water, but uh, we'll just take this one. And that will allow us the next time to immediately jump up. Oh, we actually have that point already. Brilliant. So I can now do 10% slower stamina consumption. It's kind of a weird way to phrase that, but stamina consumption during movement. I would simply have said stamina loss. I'm not sure. But I'm not a developer. So we arrive there. The repair guy must be inside this house. Hey, there he is. Yes, we're here for the hole. A little bit of small talk. I will uh, click slowly, so if you really want to read this, then go, go ahead and be my guest. 
I'm not saying it's a bad story. It's just that uh, if I would read all the stories and record uh, for a series, then yeah, the episode would be two hours long uh, for one day. Okay. One hunter is looking for bias for his bows. No. So what does this guy sell actually? Whatever you need. Oh, beer bottles. Ah, uh, okay, so pottery. Whoa. Yeah, okay. <laughs> cool. Now we did determine that there's two quests here that we can pick up. Okay, let's see. It looks like one is over here somewhere. Ludwika! I've not been feeling too well lately. I think I might be coming down with something. Could you please bring me some mushrooms? Yeah, I sold 50 of them just now. Or herbs, so I can take myself a family. Or make myself a family cure stew. Yes, which one do you need? Uh, let's tag that quest. Mushroom treatment. Parasol and fly agaric mushrooms. Okay. Which ones are these? Of course, these are not the white ones. Let's pick them anyways. I don't think you can accidentally give them the wrong ones and uh, poison them, but... Uh, Something that the devs are probably working on right now. Parasol mushrooms. And this is again one of those moments where the inspector mode is just completely overpowered. I need some stones either way. This is a good area to find stones. It usually isn't on any map I've played here. So, look at all these stones here. Oh my god. But, we're not here for the stones. We need Fly Agaric. There you go. She gave us a reward. I got a little something for you. Okay, I didn't see any money pop up. I didn't see any items pop up. So God knows what kind of reward we got there. I'm an elderly man who's unable to craft tools on his own. Could you please bring me an axe? Yeah, I can do that. What is an axe again? Ten stones and... Uh, oh, sorry, two stones of ten sticks. I tried to memorize that, but yeah. Let's double check. Ten stones and... Uh, two stones and ten sticks. Okay, perfect. I know a few crafting recipes from my old days. I will show them to you. Oh, that is interesting. Uh, okay, did we get something? Quest completed. Are we supposed to talk to him now, or how does this work? Ah, you have returned. Did, did he unlock crafting it's recipes nice for us? Okay, we have to check. Because that's really what it sounded like to me. None of these are open. None of these are open. None of those are open. Stone arrow I got myself. It seems kind of strange that he makes that statement. Uh, so the woman said she was going to give us something, and he's saying that he was going to give us teach us some crafting recipes. Maybe I'm really missing this. Or maybe they're full of it. Well, my money is on the, the ladder, that's for sure. Here's your O. Yeah, we'll be honest. We'll give him back his 30 coins. So we're kind of try to talk to him about changing his profession and follow his dreams and uh, so we can talk to Alwyn again in the next season alright it's getting late but I do want to see if I can find some boars 
Now, foxes are kind of tricky because they're really they're kind of faster. I only need two of the two of them, so hopefully we can get that done. There's a boar, all right. All right, we got one. Oh, what's this? A bandit camp. This close to to our town. Well, that is strange. An iron arrow. Oh wow, this is actually pretty big. What's in the barrel? Oh wow, look at this. A whole bunch of trees. Oh my god. And this is literally situated right above our town. Well, I hope this is just abandoned and there's nothing gonna spawn here from bandits that are gonna be... Wicker basket, we'll take that too, I guess. Can I alt here and see what's laying down here? No. A bucket. Okay. Probably missing a lot. Stick, 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 stick. Another barrel. Don't need rot. Oh, that is weird. It's literally on our back door here. Sack. Apple wine? Oh my god. Salted fish meat? Salted meat? We check that one, I think. Yeah. Let's be all inconspicuous. Let's put a torch on. What could possibly go wrong here, right? A recurve bow. Hey. That's an upgrade, I think. Wow. It's hilarious. All this time this has been just laying here. Alright, let's see if we can actually open up some recipes. Let's start with soups. Cabbage, meat, and a wooden bowl. We have the money for it. What else can we get? Stew with carrot and meat. We also have carrots. So these are interesting right away. Let's buy this one. Cabbage, salted meat. So everything has a salted variation. So you have the carrot and the normal meat. Carrot and the salted meat. Let's open up this one. So we need some wooden bolts. Now we're going to cook some nice meals for our guys. Let's start with potage or pottage. I have no clue how to pronounce this. Then we can make some stew. Let's make more of that uh, potage. Please leave me a comment if you know how to pronounce this. I'm not going to look it up. I have no clue how you pronounce this. It's probably called pottage, but it has one T, so I say potage. Great. So the benefit is of this food is, is that it provides a lot more value. So that means that the villagers don't get hungry that fast and you don't have to cook that often. It takes a little bit longer to cook the stew and the potage, but that's well worth it at this point. Time to put that all in the storage. And there was much rejoicing. Alright guys, so what I'm going to try to do is put the trees next to the farm field. I think that would look really pretty. So I will have to do the orchard. I hope that has the same grid. I'm pretty sure it does. So if this is the farm field here, if I put maybe a little path here. Not sure how wide that needs to be. And then just one long line. Hopefully there's no rocks here that is going to block it. All the way to the road. Is that the road? Yeah. So keep it there, I think. Do you want to pull one further? No, we don't want to pull one further. 
So, I can try to uh, do it here too. Another orchard. Okay, should be good enough. It's kind of difficult to get a good reading of this in the middle of the night. Looks pretty. Plant some plum trees here. We can also plant here. Put some wheat and rye grain here. Doing the farming in the middle of the night is nice and relaxing. That is great, so we actually unlock the hen house. Let's see what it looks like during the day. Got the trees there, a little path here. Oh, this is almost, it's, it's like... Oh, I hope I did it right on the other side, because this is too straight to be true. Yep, perfect. So five trees here, let's double check on that side. Five. So that is also going to even out then eventually. Should be running straight in there, kind of. Kind of. Let's see. Should be like this, kind of. Yeah, it's really, really straight. That's also the reason why you start by putting the field down before you build the barn. Because look, it looks really nice right now. Nice and symmetrical. It's just great. Alright, what I'm going to do right now, real quick, is I'm going to find a boar to complete that quest. Alright, we got a boar, and as usual, it wasn't pretty. I have no clue how I can miss that many things. Alright guys, I'm gonna go make my way home again, and I'll leave it here for now. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you guys will catch me in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye bye.